Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you don't have this drawing already open on your system, go and open the file 00 underscore 035 underscore DIAB and where you save it. You can also download this file on the website. Then go to the quick access tool and click the open button. Navigate, to, go to the directory where you save the exercise file for this folder and select 00 underscore 034 underscore DIABM where you save it and click open. Now go to the file 00 underscore 035 underscore DIABM to make it the current file. Hold down the control key and type letter A on your keyboard. This highlights everything in the drawing. Hold down the control shift and type C on your keyboard. At specified base point point, zoom in into this area and use the center object snap and snap to the center of this circle. Press escape to deselect the object. Go to the drawing 00 underscore 034 underscore DIABM to make it the active drawing. Now, right, hold down the control key and type V on your keyboard. At specify insertion point prompt, move the mouse cursor and click around this area. Now, go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. Scroll down and rename this file to rename this file to 00 underscore 036 underscore DIABM. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, Go to the file of self and change it from AutoCAD 2018. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. You can select whatever version of AutoCAD you plan to open your file in the future. Click the save button. Now close the file 00 underscore 035 underscore DIABM. If your AutoCAD asks you if you want to save the object, select the no option. Now we're going to use the, the circle reference to move this object. But first, let's try to know the relationship between this solid and the circle and the relationship in this solid and this circle. So to do that, go to the Home tab and Utility Panel and select ID Point. At the specifying point point, click on this area. You see this point is 150 mm below the X and Y plane or 150 mm in the negative Z axis. Select the ID points command again and try to know the center. Click on the center of the circle. This is 150 millimeter below this object. Now let's measure the this the height of this object. Tap the eye on a keyboard and press enter. Zoom in into this area. At specifying first point points, click on this area. Move the mouse cursor and click on this area. The height is 3000 millimeter. Now let's try to know the relationship between this object and this circle. Go to the Home tab, Utility Panel, and click the Point ID command. Click on this. Same is 150 in the Z, in the Z below the Z axis. Select this object, this solid, and the slab. Go to the Home tab, Modify Panel, and select the Cop Move command. Click any sign in the drawing area, move to the Z direction, and type 150 mm. Make sure that your auto mode is turned on. Press enter. Now, this slab is at the same level with this. The bottom of this slab is at the same level with this circle. So, we need to draw another reference line into this area, 3000 mm. Go to the Home tab, drop an as left line command. I specify first point prompt. Use the center object snap and snap to the center of this circle. Now move to the Z direction and type 3000 mm. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Now select this solid and select the slab. Go to the home tab. Modify panel and select the move command. At the specifying base point front, use the center object snap and snap to this base point. Now move the mouse cursor. Turn off the auto mode and snap to the end point of this line orbit around to see the result you see now the object copy in the right in the right place go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property 
and the select source object from select this object as the select destination object from select this object press escape to get out of the command now go to the view control go to the view control and select the top use a window selection to select this object hit the delete on your keyboard go to the top right corner and click the this vertex of the view queue we're going to stop at this point in the next tutorial we'll continue to to model our object if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye